You've been on everything. You've all, you've all, yeah, you know, the, the promos long. have been on TV. It's very the strange adverts. walking through your own village and seeing a billboard where you're about nine feet tall <laughs> wow. and going, oh my god! It's did you me. take a picture of it? My kids did. I bet oh, you did. Can I say hello? Of course, you can. Yeah. Yes, uh, Sophia, <laughs> Olivia. I hope you had a great first day at school. Lots of love, Daddy. Oh. Oh, you don't you have a daughter in this new series, the same age? Same age, yes, yeah. Maddie. She plays uh, oh, my, that's daughter. my daughter. Yeah, so yeah, you're 13. Yeah, she's yeah. Uh, Oh, so that helps. She plays Chloe. Because you know the relationships now. That I do, but they're, they're slightly different. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She's a bit more. She's a young 13, whereas my Olivia's quite a sassy yeah. character. Yeah. Uh, you know, a, a lot older. Can I just say, I've never been more delighted about yeah. a series coming yeah, back. Yeah, we're all saying. All of us. Well, I'm delighted so to be part of it. Everybody feels like that, though. I know. It's great, isn't it? What do you think the appeal is, though? Because it's like I've always thought it's sort of like the British Friends, isn't it? Mm. But but uh, grittier and harder. Yeah. So what is the appeal? I think the beauty of the show is there is no kind of uh, there's no linchpin. It's about life. Yeah. It's yeah. about relationships. It's about yeah. it's just about yeah. us. It's very it's, weird. And that's why yeah. people identify. I was going to say you can there's identify. There's something with for something. everyone yeah. in it. There's something. Yeah. There's something somebody's been through one of the crises yeah. in the show and gone. Oh my God, that's just like us. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's the beauty of it in the casting. So it's 13 years on. Where are you now? What's what, how are you all coming together? Uh, I, I, to as, as characters. Yeah. Yeah. Characters. As, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Characters. Right. Um, Okay, oh, the thing for those of you watching the first time, yeah. it's fine. You can hit the ground running. All okay. you need to know is that sadly Rachel died. Jim, yes. uh, James yes. Nesbitt's partner, Adam, uh, Robert and, Herm and Hermione. Uh, that's Karen and David. They're divorced, but uh, trying to work through it. Okay. Pete and Jenny were separated, mm. but have got back together. And that's all you that's need all to know. You need to so know. if you've and never you... watched it before, you can just come straight to it. Mm. And is it true, because we're getting quite excited about this, that mm. you have some very challenging storylines for you? Very. Juicy stuff. I... I have to say... <laughs> You're right. It's, it's, often, it's often disco... Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> uh, we'll get on to that. We'll get on to that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what, what it is, it's often described as a comedy drama, but I would yeah. say it's more a drama yeah. with comedy in yeah. it. Yeah. Comic elements. Well, like but... life. That's like exactly, life, Exactly, yeah. yeah. Well, except EastEnders. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> and so, um, what I'd say is, this my storyline this time round has got comic elements, but they've, I've really had to pull out the stops as an actor because it's been quite tough yeah. to play my storyline. My storyline revolves around depression, which oh. is Mike Bullen's actual... Uh, story. Storyline. So yeah. what he did. Storyline. Yeah. Oh, right. And so in real life, Mike went through a breakdown, had depression, and oh. from his own personal experience, wow. has written that story Intimate. for Pete. But, but wow. John, you've had tricky times yourself. Yeah, yeah. So did that help in a way? That well, the you, older you, you get as an actor, uh, the better you can be as an actor because yeah. you can only draw on the life experiences yeah. that you've had. And if you've had a very happy, ordinary life, you know, and everything's jolly. You can't really, you relate know, to relate yeah. to it. Yeah. But I'm really glad I've had an interesting life because, yeah. and I've been rock and roll. So, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Uh, I'm glad I'm the other side of it, mind you. But yeah. I think from from all the things that I've been through over the years, it can only help me perform as an actor. Yeah. Is it difficult though? My my, my husband was uh, is is, a, is sober after yeah, he stayed yeah. sober for many years, and there's this thing that they talk about euphoric recall, where you can remember mm -hmm. how amazing things were when you were drinking and all of that, and it get drawn back into it. And is this really difficult? Because when you were drinking, it was with the first series, yeah. and you haven't been for all this time. Is that kind of dangerous? You're coming back together? Not really, because uh, maturity is a great thing. Because what the thing was, Jimmy very rightly and very sensibly said uh, when we were asked about this, we do our socialising on set mm, right. because we all get on so well. Yeah. We have such a laugh yeah. on set. It, it, it's brilliant. And we don't feel the need to, to go down kind of... We've done that, yeah. being there, seen it, T-shirt, yeah. you yeah. know, Baba Booey. We've done it all, you know what I mean? So, so is it more fun being a grown-up then and doing this? <laughs> It's great just getting up, knowing my lines, no hangover, not bumping <laughs> into the furniture. Yeah. It's just nice to be firing on all yeah. cylinders because, you know, there were times when I was a little bit high maintenance, you know, turning up rough and, 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 and things like that. Mm. But now, I said to Terry, our, uh, one of our directors, I, I went, well, I said, I'm, it's nice to know that I'm low maintenance now. He went, not low. No. No maintenance. Oh, wow. no maintenance. Brilliant. And I went, oh, that's just the best thing. And I, I hope you're going to be carrying on like that when you're working with our Sherry as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Aladdin absolutely. we're doing at the Manchester Opera House. Yeah. Abernaza. That's right, Abernaza. <laughs> the fairy of the ring. Yes, thank you yes. very much. Yeah. <laughs> what, no, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, there wow. we go. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs>
Great uh, costume. Uh, uh, whoa. 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 Very Very airbrushed. <laughs> <laughs> I was as well. <laughs> so when's that start? Uh, December the what is it? Oh, fifth, is it? Fifth, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, yeah. We start in November start rehearsing. November rehearsing. So yeah. it'll be great Lovely. fun though. We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces, and click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to really.